Hey Broken Arrow, it is Wednesday. I hope you are having a great day so far. We are walking through the Sermon on the Mount. So today, let's look at one of the less well-known parts, Matthew 5, 17 to 19, where Jesus says this, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly, I tell you, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of the pen, will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. When I was young, I didn't know that much about the Old Testament. Oh, I knew about Adam and Eve and, and Noah and the flood, David and Goliath and Moses and the parting of the Red Sea. But that was mainly from TV shows and cartoons. My pastor almost never preached from the Old Testament. It seemed like every sermon was about John 3.16. Now, I love John 3.16, but there is more to the Bible. The Law and the Prophets that Jesus refers to, is the way that people in Jesus' day talked about the Hebrew Scriptures, the what, what we call the Old Testament. Jesus says he didn't come to abolish the Old Testament. He came to fulfill it. Now, sometimes that meant that Jesus took an Old Testament passage or law and changed its focus or, or made it better fit the revelation of a loving God, a heavenly Father. For example, Jesus says in Matthew 5, 38-39, you have heard that it was said, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. Now it's true. The Old Testament says an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth in three different places. But Jesus says there's a better way. You know, there was a debate in the early church. Should the Christian Bible include the Jewish scriptures, the Old Testament? And the answer then and the answer now is yes. The scriptures that Jesus and Paul quoted are still relevant to us. They reveal the same God, the God who's good all the time. Hey, folks, tonight I'm starting my new Faith Break class on the life of David at 6.30 in our sanctuary. You're welcome to come in person. We'll also be live streaming it on Facebook and YouTube. I invite you to be a part of our study of this fascinating man that the Bible calls the man after God's own heart. That's 6.30 tonight. Hope to see you then. And again, God is good all the time.